I'm guessing if you had to ask what was inside those bags, you would not say a baseball broadcast setup. But that's exactly what's in there. This is the SDI cable. This is everything else. And that's the laptop. We've got the headquarters. The two camera switcher. So far the center field camera's on and this camera is on which can go left and right as you can see here indicated in there. Got the iPad set up ready for notes. Scorebook. I'm going to set up this camera on top of the, the stand over there and I have to adjust some cable lengths but what you're going to see <laughs> what kind of a job this was. This green cable goes here. I had to climb on the roof of this thing to get it over there. Over the batting cage. It took me two hours to just lay the cable across that tree over there. This is the bullpen. It goes on top of the hedge. You can see it there in the distance behind this little hut. I'm going to adjust this cable back here because I had to keep tension on it so the, the connection is here. This is, that green cable comes from the scorer hut all the way down here where I connected it here. Um, I was like five meters short, so I needed to take a whole new roll. So the connector, the other connector is actually up there, but I'm going to change that because I needed to tighten it to keep the slack on it so that there wasn't any slack because people were passing through here. There's going to be a softball game and I don't know, it's kind of makeshift. I think I'm going to put the other connector instead of up on top of that roof, I'm going to move it to this roof and then I can move the center field camera over about four meters to get a better angle because this cable is also completely uh, all 100 meters are rolled out so there's a lot of extra leeway to be had here so that's what I'm gonna do but anyway this is I've been walking back and forth on this stretch for I don't know about an hour and a half today and see even this I had to run it up over this just in case somebody does open this door there's slack there and this is uh, yeah, not the sturdiest of roofs. Definitely caves in places if you step on the wrong part. So I gotta walk very carefully. Of course, right to the middle where it's least structurally sound is all the cable connectors for our center field camera. Uh, it's, it's pointed a bit too low. This It's kind of difficult to adjust and get it exact. But it's all right, I think. I don't know. What do you think, Tim? <laughs> How about that view, though? Potterborn Baseball Club. All right, up the ladder we go. Gonna... I gotta readjust this. Oh! Not gonna lie, that was scary. I guess I had the ladder inside out and it slid out from under me. And uh, I just happened to land on my feet and nothing happened. That is not going anywhere. Oh, oh man, that was really scary. Actually, I don't want to do that last. I think it's too. But you know what? I've decided the center field camera is going to stay exactly where it is. Screw this. I'm not doing that again. It works. I'm not dead yet, so I'm not going to fix it if it ain't broke. This is the unseen part of setting up a baseball broadcast by yourself. That's the first time I've ever fallen off of a ladder. And uh, that will be the last, I promise you. I'm not gonna let that happen again. All right, I'm thinking if I run a cable from here, up over that tree, through these streets, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do that. And then put a camera up there. I don't know, maybe I just put the camera in the box. It's easier. See, the thing is you can never count on people to not step on or run into or crash into the cable it has to really be out of the way and that's very difficult Zwei und zwei wichtige Pitch kommt jetzt von Jared Morton und Vladislav Landwehr Jetzt kommt er 
Line drive, left center field, that's a nice base hit. Nixdorf, one of them drive, Rick them home with the bags. They're both good, cut off. One potter going punted, this is yet side to Heinz. Ein two out base hit, und das war ein doch wichtiges Stolen Base for Linus Nixdorf. Ein RBI single for Landwehr. Und jetzt steht der tying run auf ersten Base hier im siebten Inning. Wahnsinn, Linus Nixdorf mit dem Stolen Base. Wahrscheinlich eine von wenigen Stone Base, die er dieses Jahr hatte. Dann ein toller Schlag von Ladislaus Landwehr auf Tavio Medina. Hat wirklich bis zum Schluss gewartet, ob er noch die Handbremse reinwerfen soll. Hat sich dann aber entschieden, Minus durchzuwinken. Und der Ball wurde dann gekattet, weil er wahrscheinlich ein bisschen offline war. Und das war angepasst an der Platte. Und wir haben wieder einen Mann am ersten Base mit Ladislaus Landwehr. Und jetzt Tobias Maul, der gegen Morten und letzte Woche den Hohmann geschlagen hat. Linus Nichtdorf hat ein Stolen Base in seiner Karriere. Und jetzt hat er zwei. Ein Maul, ein Ground Ball, Left Side, gefühlt von Germain, der Wurf auf ja, zwei Base ist da. Base da base zum Ring und aus. Aber ein Punkt, ein Run, ein Hit, kein Errors, ein Left auf Base. Wir gehen zum oberen Hälfte des achten Innings. Es ist jetzt 2 zu 1 für Heidenheim hier im Spiel 4 der Bundesliga-Meisterschaft.